We first came into contact with the archive when we were researching the documentary Blood of the Travellers, the history of travellers within Ireland. And uh, it was quite hard looking through the archives in general in Ireland and try to find any trace of travellers within it. So when we came into the National Collection here in UCD and found it was this huge collection of um, material from the 1930s that had been collected with school children and it asked a specific question what are known about what is known about the origin of Irish travellers to us it was like a, a, a gem um, that we'd been searching for and we couldn't find so that was our introduction to the National Folklore Collection I think to digitise the archive here is so important because as a nation, we're at a crossroads culturally. We're at a crossroads to understand what is our identity. Um, you know, there's so many influences coming in really quickly over the last 10, 15 years by the internet, by television, by other sources that there's a great danger we're going to lose our culture and our identity. And thankfully, there is a treasure trove within this building of material that has been collected over a long period of time that I think is going to be vital in the future because it will help validate our own culture. When we're, when we're trying to explain what it is to be Irish, we've got something we can delve into here, into the past, and we can show, OK, here's a bit of our culture. And that validates our culture for us. And I think this will become more and more important as the years go on. We'll realise its significance. I think the archive is a huge educational resource too because it's clues into our past. It's, it can be like looking for a needle in a haystack sometimes, but there's millions of needles to find, so it depends what you're looking for. Uh, you know, it can be, it can be found here, and, and in terms of when we think about education and what education will be in the future. Um, you have a huge amount of hands-on material here for people to look at and learn from and touch with, connect with, see, hear. You know, fills all the senses for a child to, or any person to come and be educated and, and connect with a part of our past. I think the most important factor about this archive collection is the cultural significance. Um, we have such a collection here, we have such a treasure trove of material that it will help us validate our culture in the future. If we don't digitise the archive, there's a real danger that it could be wiped out by a simple fire or a flood and that would be a travesty.